Digit, the pioneering humanoid robot from Agility Robotics, is going global. Agility just made a huge announcement as the Oregon-based robotics company races to become the world's first mass producer of humanoid robots. During the Web Summit conference in Portugal, the company announced its new partnership with Schaffler, a global motion technology company. They make a lot of automotive parts and aviation parts. We also have some Scheffler parts in Digit. Um, Scheffler is going to be both an investor and a customer of ours. Wow. They are planning to put humanoids in all of their global network, which is about 100 sites. Schaffler Group, based in Germany, made a minority investment and agreed to purchase Agility's humanoids to deploy in its 100 plants worldwide by 2030. Schaffler has around 115,000 employees globally. They very much are um, excited about this technology. They see it as very uh, helpfully disruptive, and we're thrilled to be working with them. The conglomerate operates manufacturing plants across Europe, North America, South America, Asia, and South Africa. Companies under Schaffler include INA, which focuses on bearings and systems for automotive and industrial use, FAG, which makes precision bearings, LUT, which specializes in clutch systems and transmission components, and Barton Corporation, which is known for precision aerospace bearings. Agility Robotics is riding high at the moment. Digit, its flagship humanoid, made the cover of Time magazine, which recognized the robot as one of the 200 best inventions of 2024. Time called Digit a blue-collar robot. Figure 2 from California-based Figure AI also made the list with its AI robot, which will start working at BMW Spartanburg, South Carolina Automotive Plant in early 2025. <laughs> Though Digit is getting recognition now, its success has not been overnight. Agility Robotics was founded in 2015 as a spin-off from Oregon State University. Its first bipedal robot, Cassie, debuted in 2016. Intended as a research platform focusing on dynamic walking, Cassie later became the first biped robot to complete an outdoor 5K run. Digit, introduced in 2019, built upon Cassie's design, adding a torso, arms, and enhanced perception systems. Out the gate, Digit navigated complex environments and performed tasks like package deliveries. They are coming to your house. Ford is partnering with Agility Robotics to produce two-legged robots that Ford hopes will one day be able to deliver things right to your doorstep. In 2020, Ford Motor Company became one of Agility's first customers, exploring Digit's potential in last-mile delivery. However, reports indicate the project has not advanced past the initial testing phases. By 2021, Digit's capabilities grew to address bulk material handling tasks in warehouses and logistics settings. This soon became Digit's niche, automating repetitive and physically demanding tasks that humans would rather not do. Hey Digit, clean up this mess. In 2023, Agility introduced the latest iteration of Digit with a head and hands designed for human-robot interaction and tote manipulation. In 2024, Digit began working at a GXO facility near Atlanta, marking the first time a humanoid robot was integrated into commercial logistics operations. Agility signed a multi-year agreement with GXO, the world's largest pure-play contract logistics provider, to deploy Digit in its facilities. Digit is very cool and it's a great experience for our associates. So it's reducing repetitive tasks. It's able to take away the heavy lifting for our associates as they work side by side. According to Agility, the agreement was also the industry's first robots as a service deployment of humanoid robots. The company is busy preparing to manufacture the next revision of Digit at its RoboFab facility in Salem, Oregon. This may look like your average American warehouse, but Agility Robotics claims it's actually the world's first factory for humanoid robots. Let's go check it out. Why the need for this level of production? Well, the biggest tailwind out there is the large labor gap. There's over a million jobs in the logistics area alone that are going unfilled. 
robots like Digit can step in and take those tasks off their hands. I do wonder about that. People might be looking at Digit and saying, wait a minute, that's my job. Well, what we're seeing is this is typically a part of the job that they don't like. We can offload that, free up that human to have more cycles in their day to learn new skills. According to the Salem Reporter, Agility plans to hire 500 workers to produce the robots. The 70,000 square foot factory can produce up to 10,000 robots per year. In its first year, the company plans to build hundreds of digits with more volume to follow as demand increases. Thank you, Digit. Yeah, that is heavy. How many times do you think in an average day? Every somebody... 19 seconds for eight hours straight. But Digit's like not even breaking a sweat. Digit robots will work alongside human workers in the new factory. Standing 1.7 meters or about 5 foot 9, Digit carries up to 16 kilograms or 35 pounds. Digit integrates well with other automated systems and has made significant progress at a facility operated for Spain. It perceives its surroundings with advanced LiDAR and stereo cameras. We can also think about things like object detection or obstacle detection. We don't want Digit out there running into objects or people that it shouldn't be. It navigates autonomously, effectively avoiding obstacles. As the robots work, they collect data to help improve their performance. They identify where the robot makes mistakes and use that info to refine their algorithms. Without good data, we cannot build good AI. And so going and collecting more and more data as we go to more and more environments, we'll keep getting better and better at that kind of general base model. Salem is about 47 miles north of Portland. The city of 180,000 was chosen for its central location and access to skilled workers. Agility is moving toward mass production as a growing array of companies globally race to dominate the market. Agility is up against the likes of Figure, which calls its Figure 2 the world's most advanced autonomous humanoid robot. Unitree's H1, a Chinese robot that can do backflips and is available for purchase for prices ranging from $90 to over $150,000. Phoenix, from Sanctuary AI which the startup says will bring artificial general intelligence, or AGI, into physical reality. Tesla's Optimus, which Elon Musk says could boost the EV automaker's market value by trillions. What do you think it takes to get to mass production of humanoid robots? It's the same as cars, really. I mean, global capacity for vehicles um, is about 100 million a year. And uh, humanoid robots, the utility is much greater. So my guess is humanoid robots are more like at a, a billion plus per year. Tesla plans to produce a limited number of Tesla bots in 2025 and increase output for wider availability in 2026. And of course, Boston Dynamics' new Electric Atlas, whose development is being accelerated with help from Toyota. Agility says Digit is advancing at an accelerated rate thanks to AI. But now, with AI and the large language models, we can start to improve Digit's semantic intelligence. So we can give Digit commands and in actual use cases in these facilities, warehouse facilities and logistics, we can give Digit a new workflow. It can actually be doing one job in the morning, another job in the afternoon, supported by AI. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date as humanoid robotics evolves rapidly.